Many folks in Houston County's homeless population rely on local shelters to bridge the gap when they are in need. With only a few to choose from, one long-standing shelter says a lack of help sometimes makes it difficult for them to serve. Kalisha Moore introduces you to the nonprofit and explains how they've been affected. For 23 years, the Thomases have strived to help serve those in Warner Robins experiencing homelessness. I, I just had a desire to try to help people if I could. The Community Outreach Service Center is not government funded. Because of that, they require people moving in to produce a government ID, Houston County address, current COVID test, and rent. When they start working, we, we charge them $75. That include their, that include their food, their everything, the food that we have available. Reverend John H. Thomas and his wife Isadora Thomas say their emergency shelter can hold nine men, five families, and eight single women. After losing funding from the city to pay staff, it runs on the help of volunteers. They don't fund us anymore. So the thing is, when they did fund us, it wasn't enough to just for the year. It, what they fund us would last probably three months. They say in 2021 they received $10,000 from Warner Robins, half of what they received in years past. He also says with at least $40,000 in upkeep and surviving off donations, it impacts what they do. We have a lot of volunteers in two buildings that keep everything afloat. And that's by the grace of God. But despite the highs and lows of service, they say they have no plans to stop. When you can meet the needs of, of a person that's going through their downfalls and you can you be there to help them, it's, it's nothing more rewarding. So however way we're making it, we're making it. In Warner Robins, Kalisha Moore, 13 WMAZ News. Mayor LaRonda Patrick says the city is aware of the homelessness issue and they are currently exploring options to help out within the community.